Hi there, this is lesson 1.2, Architect Tutorials, MATLAB, and this time we are discussing help function, display function, and input function. This is a continuation from the previous lesson, so you might want to go and revisit it. Now, after you open your Octave, and now we are familiar with the command windows and editor section. Under command windows, type help display. Octave will explain in details how the help function can be used. For example, let's type in help disp. Disp is a shortcut for a coding that you can use a programming language for Octave to understand you. So disp x, meaning if x is a value or x is something, it will display x. So x can be sentence, x can be your name, x can be literally anything. So let's make x is equals to one. And if I don't put a semicolon there, it'll basically display x, which we want to do. Um, but if I say x equals to one and I put a semicolon there, it won't display at all. Then if I want to display my x, what I have to do is I just have to press disp x and it will display the value of x, which is one. Notice that octave is case sensitive. So disp is in small letters and it's not full sentence. It's not a full word, it's not display. And in this scenario, I said my X, it's a capital letter, not a small letter. So if you put a small letter there, you are going to get an error function. We can also play more. Octave says um, it can be used to help display the value of pi, pi being pi. So if I say this pi, it will show the value of pi, which is 3.1416. If I say this, hello guys, it will display hello guys. And notice if I say this, hello guys, without the quotation marks, it gives me an error. You could also use this with the transpose signs and it will display hello guys, same thing. Octave also has a built-in function called documentation. When you go to search and you type in whatever you want to search, it will explain to you in a more realistic way. But if you go under function index and you type in, for example, this, click on this it will explain to you basically what it explained to you when you said help this you can also do this for input you can say input and it will give you definitions of input you can say floor and it will give you a definition of floor and also say round and it will tell you that round it's when you say you want to round off to the nearest integer so you want to familiarize you want to familiarize yourself with documentation it's like a dictionary for octave so very useful especially when you're still new to octave now let's go to the last part of this particular lesson which is input function what is input function well octave says that input function allows you to ask user to type some sort of information into the program and to save that information into a variable that the program can possess so for example if we say input hello world don't forget to put the quotation marks and in after the quotation marks, you don't have to worry much about case sensitive. So I'm going to say hello world, exclamation mark. It's not mandatory to put the exclamation mark there. So you'll see that everything that's within the quotation marks will appear as hello world. And um, I'll say input pick a number. And I just type numbers with my whole hand. And it basically gives me a return of that. Um, now, going on forward with the way things are looking on your command windows, you'd want to use the input um, function on your editor section you know uh, it works more better there when you run your program so let's go to our editor section I am going to save the file as lesson 12.m 12 meaning or standing for lesson 1.2 I enjoy the editor section it's the best section you want to familiarize yourself with and if you're still learning and you have exams coming up or test you want to learn how to use the editor section because you can literally just copy and paste everything that side when you are instructed to use your command windows you can just click do it on your editor and go and paste it on your command windows in that way you can easily correct the errors and if octave is giving you problems like it's giving me problems right now i'm busy opening and closing it you know for a fact that your work is saved. So I'm gonna 
show you how to do it perfectly you can just say example one using your percentage sign just to tell a tip this is um, a note to yourself you don't necessarily want it to appear on the command windows so i'm going to basically input everything that we did there this help um, display hello i'm also going to put the input hello world um, input pick a number input pick a number any number when i run this file everything is going to appear on my command windows and pick a number i went for nine pick any number i said one and it returned the same number um, pick a number can actually be more complex than this you can say pick the first number and you say one pick the second number you say two and you can say the sum of the two numbers it will return three this was a nice short lesson i enjoyed making it because i know it's very necessary as part of your introductory to octave um, next up i want us to discuss vectors transposes and matrices so look forward to lesson 2.1 and 2.2 thank you for watching